Aggrieved PMC bank depositors and shareholders plan to move courts against the approved scheme of amalgamation between PMC and Unity Small Finance Bank as they are unhappy with several terms but most of all, depositors are unwilling to wait 10 years to see their money. The final merger plan proposes to repay depositors in a staggered manner over a 10-year period and depositors have raised objection to the plan and demanded that the full amount be repaid within 3 to 5 years. Secondly, the scheme also says that depositors will get no interest on their deposits for a five-year period after the 31st of March 2021. After this, they will only get a simple interest rate of 2.75% each year. Now, depositors say this is unfair. They've demanded a minimum interest rate of 6% on their deposits during that five-year lock-in as well. Now, the approved scheme also says that the entire paid-up share capital, reserves and surplus of PMC Bank will stand written off. Now, there are over 52,000 shareholders with more than 290 crores invested that stand to lose because of this and they've objected to this saying that the fault was not with them as they relied on financial information and annual reports but with the inspection officers and auditors who failed to detect the fraud. Now to give you a sense of how many people are going to be affected, picture this. PMC Bank has over 9 lakh individual or retail depositors with more than 7,800 crores in deposits at stake, while those with up to 5 lakhs of deposits will get their money immediately. Almost 44,000 depositors with close to 5,500 crores in deposits will have to wait a long time before they can fully withdraw their savings. Now, after the initial 5 lakhs, retail depositors will get about 2 lakhs at the end of 3 years and a total of 15 lakhs by the end of five years. Any additional amount over and above this can only be paid at the end of 10 years. Now, PMC Bank has also got more than 8,800 institutional depositors who will be impacted. 80% of their outstanding deposits uh, will be converted into preference shares and the remaining uh, will be converted into equity warrants of Unity Small Finance Bank, which can be converted when it goes public. And Unity will also use cash recoveries from HDIL assets to buy back these preference shares at the end of 10 years.